Hi, this is Sachin, founder and CEO at Requestly. In this video, I will show how you can load your local files on the live production sites for the faster debugging. So let's take a look. Uh, here is tackoverflow.com, my favorite site on the internet. So let's pick a JavaScript file from this. So let's pick uh, jQuery for the sake of demo. You can pick any other script as well, depending upon your use case. So we have a jQuery min.js, which is being loaded from hs.googleapis.com. And I already have a jQuery downloaded at my machine, which is the development version of 361. So unfortunately, Chrome does not allow loading uh, file-based URLs on the live websites. So we can use a simple HTTP server. Uh, so I, I usually ref, uh, refer to HTTP server, which is a node module. And you can install this with this simple command, npm install dash global HTTP server. Once you do this, you'll be able to uh, run HTTP server command on terminal with a course option enabled. And then it will, you will be able to open all the contents of this directory uh, over uh, localhost colon 8081. So in our case, I'm able to access my jQuery over uh, 127.0.0.1, which is equivalent to localhost. And you can see I have added a custom console log statement just to verify that uh, this script has been loaded in Stack Overflow. Now I can go to Requestly to configure this. So when you go to request, you can configure a new rule to modify uh, any part of the traffic. So request provides several modification uh, capabilities like setting up redirects or changing the API or the endpoints, modifying headers, modifying API responses. In this case, I'm going to use redirect request. I can say a uh, load jQuery from local machine and I can specify jQuery.min.js. When URL contains jQuery.min.js, then redirect to my localhost version, which is this. And I can save the rule. Now I go to Stack Overflow and decide search for jQuery. You can see my jQuery is loaded. So you can see this is redirect and this is uh, 200. And when I check the response, I can see the console log and if I go to the console log, you can see the, the custom statement has been printed here as well. So you can, uh, you can in a single click, you can also deactivate this tool when you don't need it. Uh, one pro tip, you can also pin the rule. Once you pin the rule, you will be able to access your rule in the extension pop-up and you can enable disable directly from here. Hope this helps. Uh, thank you so much.